Welcome to Serious Fun and the 2012-2013 season of the Stanford Symphony. We will be continuing to try to surprise you at every concert with something special, something unexpected, just to shake things up a bit. We'll start out our first concert and the new season brilliantly with, in October with one of the ultimate virtuoso pieces for orchestra, Ruslan and Udmila by Russian composer Mikhail Glinka. I distinctly remember when I first heard this piece as a little boy, I was impressed by how fast the violins moved their bows and I thought, I must remember this. And I did. I remembered the rather unusual names of its title, Ruslan and Ludmila. Considered to be the father of modern Russian music, Glinka created a distinct nationalistic Russian musical style. Ruslan and Ludmila is based on an epic poem of the same name by Pushkin. But Whereas Pushkin's poem is rather dark, it tells the story of the abduction of Ludmila by an evil sorcerer, and includes witches, magic castles, enchanted gardens. This music features some of the most brilliant music I know. It is basically the description of a royal wedding, and Glinka's inspiration for the music came when he attended a wedding dinner at the Russian court. This music is like a whirlwind, fast and forceful, and it's over before you know it. Our concerto is Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 3, a tour de force for the pianist. It is considered by many to be the most difficult piano concerto of the repertoire. And I guarantee you, this will be no problem for our pianist, Valentina Lizitsa, who, when you find her on YouTube, has more views than any other classical artist. At this time, her most viewed clip has been seen 2,800,000 times. Jean Sibelius was Finland's greatest composer. His music is unique. He painted these immense Finnish landscapes where you can see huge forests and lakes and dark clouds and winds. He uses broad melodies and fanfares and the music seems to flow without interruption. Finnish mythology was a very important source of inspiration for him. And often you can hear the little gnomes crawling around. The first public performance of his second symphony cemented Sibelius' fame as a national hero. It is certainly the most accessible of all of Sibelius' symphonies. It has an heroic and optimistic first movement, a wonderful romantic second movement, a brilliant breakneck scherzo, and one of the greatest final build-ups in music history, leading to one of the most satisfying, glorious, and majestic endings ever. This is just phenomenal and exciting. We have a great season in store for you, and we hope you can join us for some serious fun at the Palace Theatre in Stamford, Connecticut. Concerts are on Saturdays at 8 p.m. and Sundays at 3 p.m. For tickets and more information, please call 203-325-4466 or visit us at www.stamfordsymphony.org.